After the discovery of the Americas in 1492, Spain claimed a wide swath of territory as New Spain and instituted policies to exploit the land for its resources and the indigenous people for their labor. Sailing under the Spanish flag, explorer Christopher Columbus spotted an island in the Caribbean in 1492. Searching for a direct route to India, he had instead found the Americas. After learning about these vast and unexplored lands, Spain set out to conquer and colonize them. Over the next 50 years, Spain would claim millions of acres of what is now North and Central America. At its peak, New Spain spanned from Peru up through Mexico to include what is now the American Southwest and California. It also ran east along the Gulf Coast of Florida and included many islands of the Caribbean. Spain followed a systematic approach to conquest. From outposts in the Caribbean, waves of explorers and conquistadors fanned out across the region. These conquistadors fought in the name of God and the Spanish crown. In seeking glory and gold, they seized territory, enslaved and killed indigenous peoples, and built fortresses to deter other European nations from staking claims. To control the newly conquered lands, the Spanish crown dispatched viceroys, or governors, who were responsible for enforcing the law, expanding the territory, and overseeing mining and ranching operations. The Catholic Church worked alongside the state in the colonies. Along with the explorers and conquistadors came Catholic priests who sought to convert indigenous peoples to Christianity. By 1573, converting Indians to Christianity became Spain's highest priority. During this time, residents of settlements were primarily Spanish officials, as few Spaniards wanted to leave their homeland. To obtain workers, the Spanish relied on Econmienda, a grant by the Spanish crown giving a colonizer the right to demand forced labor and tribute, usually gold or land, from indigenous peoples. In return, the colonizer pledged to protect the people and convert them to Christianity. Although technically not slavery, many considered the practice cruel, including Christopher Columbus, who himself was known to rule with an iron fist in the Caribbean. Enconmienda fell out of practice only after disease and mistreatment led to the deaths of large portions of the indigenous population. Beginning in 1502, conquistadors imported enslaved Africans to use as plantation laborers in the Caribbean. New Spain was a frontier society run by European men. They controlled the local indigenous populations through encomienda. Some Spanish women eventually joined their husbands in the colonies, but their role was to run households and rear children. Most conquistadors did not bring families to the New World. Instead, many married indigenous women from ruling families to take control of the pre-existing social hierarchy, many of which were maternally dominated. 